Hi folks and welcome once again to Family Friendly Bushcraft, the place where I come to make memories for my kids, save them up to YouTube and if anybody else gets some enjoyment out of them as well then that's absolutely brilliant. Just getting attacked by the triffids here, bit of wisteria, mile a minute vine. Now I'd love it during this video if you could smash like, smash subscribe, hit that bell for notifications because the more we do the more we can bring to people and hopefully the more enjoyment people will get out of this. Now, I enjoy being outside, the kids enjoy being outside, so why not make memories for us all? Enjoy, and we'll see you on the other side. What we're going to do is a little bit of battening, okay? Now, that was pointed out very rightly by a viewer on the video the other day, that's part of the process we were going through when we were harvesting the fatwood. Now, as you can see, we've got the folding saw. I'm going to go at that. And this was one sourced from... Little a while ago, it wasn't a an expensive bushcrafty type one like the silky saws and things like that. It was just a case of doing things on a budget and seeing what we could pick up. As you see, it does remove material. It's not the best cutter in the world, and you do need a fair bit of pressure on it. But you know, you'll get through your bit of wood eventually. Another bushcraft type saw, we've got the wire saw. I'm going to do, I'm just going to brace the bit of wood against the block with my knee. And just for demonstration purposes, we're then and pulling back in two. It's the same sort of saw as you use in farming for dehorning cattle and things like that. They can be quite awkward to use, you can fit them with a handle. Cut a nice bit of green wood from the local bush, bend it over so you can fit the two ends on, take the strain. Quite a lot of the time I just leave swivels on the end of a wire saw. These swivels can then be fitted with a bit of paracord which you can then fit onto whichever impromptu you handle you make and maintain tension without having another bit of wire, another bit of steel to move and potentially become a problem. Now battening, boys, battening is the process where we're going to turn that to sticks or something more usable, more suitable for what we want to do. Now you can use a knife, an axe, any of the sharp implements we use in bushcraft for this. Now, where's that bit of stick we were using as a hammer? It's underneath. Okay, so we've got a bit of stick, you don't need anything. Right, okay. So we're going to batten this bit of wood. Battening is the process whereby we are splitting it down. So, initially with a knife, and it's a small knife for a bit of wood this size, but it'll do the job. Do be aware though, if you're in a, a real hard situation rather than just bushcraft for fun, if it's your only knife, you want to be a bit careful. Because if it's your only knife and you bust the blade, then you're without a knife, aren't you? Back down to some real Stone Age improvisation. So, if we were struggling to find tinder or kindling, this is the process we'd go through to split down bigger wood, so it's more usable in that in that way we can see it just takes it apart wow that looks cool again i tend to do just half by half by half some people you'll find taking little bits off at a time now then okay so we're gonna just bit at a time thinning it out to the size that we want to use it i mean we could thin that down two or three foot more times make smaller sticks with it make tinder with it we could use it as it is and start feathering make feather sticks for the fire get the fire going whatever use you have for that bit of wood or continue processing as we did with the fat wood now we've done it with a knife the other most usual camp piece of equipment is the axe this is just a basic hatchet again park him in the middle get your bit of wood through as you can see real easy splits down same principle with the the haku machete from the other kit video we'll do a proper test on this at some point again we're not chopping down on the stick with our hands in place because that way accidents happen we're using the cutting edge to do what we need it to do and we're not putting anybody at risk You can really go as thin as you like, you know, you can go matchstick thin, make the real small kindling for the fire. 
and we can take it on the edge of the log and just cut it nice and small to get it thinner still if you want to you can park the blade in the log and do as you would with tree roots for making cordage just split it along you've just got that control that way again when our fingers are pushing towards the blade we're keeping them quite a distance away but again you can move your bit of stick around and pull it so the natural grain of the wood will fall where you want it to go you can go as thin as that from a, a tree trunk round. Okay, so boys, not with the machete or the axe today because we haven't done the safety training on them yet. Do you want to do a bit of battening? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Cool. Yeah, okay, who's first? Me. Right, you're first because you're closest, Tyson, all right? Yes. Using the basic battening technique you've just been shown, take that logging off, that bit of wood. Okay. That's it. That. Yes, mate. Can I use this knife? Yes. Just be careful. Don't mess with it till you need it, all right? That means put it down until you need it, buddy. That's it. It's all about practice. If you, if you haven't got enough of the blade through, you can take the knife out again carefully so you don't cut yourself. That's it, just wiggle it, that's it. And then put it back in at the top, but further through the log. Like that, yeah, that's it, perfect. That's it, you get in there. Nearly done. Yay, that's the way. All right, Connor, you're going to have a turn, buddy? That's it, knife away, good lad, well done. That's it. Lots of gentle taps instead of a few big hits. I could just do this and do it. You could if you had till next week. Yeah. That's it, mate. Well done. Well done. Nice, right. nice technique, mate. Well done. We had fun today, boys? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We all got all our fingers and toes? Yeah. No. <laughs> Mom's still there. Uh, weirdo. See, still there. Duty weirdo on patrol. Still here as well. <laughs> That's what you get for shoving off. <laughs> to give you a chance to like, subscribe, to add a comment below, to ask any questions you may have, any suggestions for content. Enjoy.